Welcome back. Joining us now in the studio today are Dr. Jeffrey Matthews, a board certified psychiatrist in the Department of Psychiatry and Behavioral Medicine at UT Health East Texas, and Brittany Nichols, a licensed professional counselor supervisor from the Health Center. Thank you to you so much for being here today. Thank you. So we're kind of raising awareness about an event happening this weekend to raise awareness about a very serious topic. So Brittany, can you tell me a little bit about the Out of the Darkness Tyler Suicide Prevention Walk? Yes, absolutely. The Out of the Darkness Walk is benefiting the American Foundation Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Um, our Tyler Walk helps raise awareness and lessen stigma on this very important issue. So is this an issue that we're seeing, you know, impacting? I think a lot of times it comes to, you know, students, high school students, especially with social media. I mean, how prevalent is raising awareness here? I mean, this is not just high school students. This does not, um, is not focused on any one population. It's an issue that can affect just about anybody. And so you'll see at our walk, there is a wide variety of people there. It's also a family-friendly walk. So a lot of people think that because it's about suicide, that it might be a depressing event and that's not true at all. It's actually a very healing event. We're raising awareness about the issue and it's an opportunity to connect with people who also have struggled with this or have lost someone. Yeah, so how can people register? So, please register. You can register through the UT Health East Texas Facebook page. That'll direct you to registration or at afsp.org slash Tyler. Registration starts at 9 in person at the walk. We have a brief program at 10 and then we walk the loop and we're pretty much wrapped up by 11.30 to 12. Sounds good. So, Dr. Matthews, then, is suicide a growing issue in Smith County, East Texas? Well, actually, the last few years, we've we've had a higher rate in Northeast Texas. I think the change is is that people are much more aware of it. About two years ago, it was an article was published that really indicated that Smith County, of the 25 most populated counties in Texas, Smith County has the highest suicide rate, and that got a lot of attention. And mm -hmm. I think people really wanted to start doing something and really changing those statistics. In reality every county in Northeast Texas has a higher suicide rate than the state average and Smith County actually has a lower suicide rate than most of the counties surrounding us so it's really a, a Northeast regional problem. So what are some of the warning signs then of suicide? Well a, a lot of people are, are very afraid to ask people about it so if someone is experiencing you know a change in their behavior they're giving away things they, they, they talk more fatalistically about you know the future and what's going to happen or that they're not going to be there those are you know warning signs someone who knows them well it's not their usual self it's okay to ask them. I think people are often afraid that they're going to give someone the idea. In reality, when people are in that mindset, they're feeling very alone and isolated. So someone caring about them, asking about them, really ensuring that they're safe is, is critical. Maybe it's not somebody you're close enough with to where you'd feel comfortable asking them. What's something else you could do to help somebody that you might be observing those warning signs? All right, well, if, if they are having those difficulties, steer them or work them towards getting help. There's a National Suicide Prevention Hotline phone number, 1-800-273-8255. Uh, there is go to the local 911, go to an emergency room, you know, talk with your provider. Um, really get people that are at risk or danger that you're worried about, try to get them help or try to get them to at least explore if they need help. All right, thank you two so much for stopping by. Good luck with your walk this weekend, thank and thank you. you for sharing some tips with us. I think it's great for everybody at home to know about. All right, thank you. All right.